a lot of them come in and you can't even tell them the size that you're giving them to try on. You just have to say, try it on. Because if ever you tell them that this is the size you're trying on, they're walking out. Because they're, they like if you say, it's a 2X. Yeah. They they're like, don't, no, 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 I don't wear 2X. I don't oh wear God. 2X and I'm, I'm in the gym right now. I'm on a diet, so I'm not going to wear this. So it doesn't make sense I buy it. I mean, to the point where we literally hide the sizes. Hey everyone, I'm Dania Beckford. Bold, sometimes brash. And since I'm the CEO of Broadtail Design, I consider myself Broadtail Beautiful. It's time we make the conversations we have as women open, honest, and authentic as we navigate living our best lives. Join me as I have intimate conversations with women of all sizes, shapes, and confidence levels as we explore being Broadtail. Hi, my Broadtails. How are you? It's Thursday and you know what that means. We start our weekend on a Thursday with another bold, another brush and another Broadtail beautiful guest. Now, this week we're going to be talking about some essentials in the fashion world for plus size women. And this is the very foundation of what the Broadtail brand is based on. And I could not think about talking about fashion with anybody else except my guest today, who is Trudy and Herzman. Trudy, how are you? I am good, Dania. How are you? I am fabulous. No, I have to tell the guests them why I made the need to talk to you <laughs> about fashion. Because when we feel like I was a hot girl, them time the absinthe that keep. I mean, I age myself right now. Absinthe, you know. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was a hot girl and I wanted a hot suit. And somebody told me that I have to go a curvy tea. And I'm just like, curvy tea? Never hear about that story yet. And they told me it was the best in plus size fashion. And I visited you at at Goodwood Terrace at the yeah. time and when I got there you opened up my eyes to so much with plus size fashion like I feel like I was doing everything wrong before because me I try to force myself in a clothes whenever did I fit me before and when I got into your store it was just so fabulous you remember what you did give me that day, day I remember what I gave you but I remember also where we started out remember we don't really start with the clothes first true true we start out with what goes under the clothes yes and I never had any of it. No, no. I was walking around. <laughs> I think I was just in thong and regular brassiere or something. And you're just like, so what are you wearing underneath it? And I'm like, this? And mm -hmm. you're like, no, 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 no. You can tell them. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to go into all of what you were wearing under the clothes. You know, before you get into it, Trudy, you know, I, I feel like because we're going to be talking about so much... I need to, you know me love alcohol. Yes. And you know me love appetite, right? Love it. Uh, yes. And because I want you to be as authentic as you're going to get, okay. I am going to give you some of my favorite in the appetite line. Mm -hmm. And that's appetite reserve. Yes. Now, Manose, because of uh, Corona and all at home and all of that, I don't know if you're the type that's been drinking. We've been drinking. Okay. All right. You're that type. All right. Okay. So we're all good then. So, here you go. Thank you. Cheers to a great conversation. Cheers. Mm. Right. So, I remember mm -hmm. on that particular day, I bought a black and white tuxedo type rumpo. Pinstriped. Sorry. Black and white Pinstripe. Pinstripe. Tuxedo rumper. Tuxedo rumper. Mm -hmm. And them time the rumper not even did boss good at Jamaica. No, no, no. So no, you no. know, so when we step in a absin, <laughs> made it hot. Yeah. But yes, you, you, you really gave me lessons on what to do with, before I put on the clothes, so my mm -hmm. undergarments. And I wanted to tell us a little bit about that because I feel like it's a process that most plus size women, mm -hmm. we, we don't usually do or we mm -hmm. don't know. You know, persons tend to say, oh, I put on an outfit and it didn't work for me. Um, it wasn't the right fit. It didn't fit me here. But the dressing starts from your undergarments. Are you wearing the right size bra? Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Because we know seven or eight out of ten women are not wearing the right size bra. Some don't even know them size. No, they don't. <laughs> they have decided that that's what they're wearing. <laughs> and things are falling out at the side. Things are falling out at the top. You know, you have things bulging out at the back. So, you know... If you start there, what's going to look good right. when you put the clothes on? So then now we have to address your little problem areas or your little areas you need to snatch or cover up or so. So then are you wearing a high waist underwear? Are you wearing, um, 
things that cover your thigh areas are, you know, what, what do you need? And it also, what do you need for your own body? And what do you need for the garment that you're putting on? Right. Because I remember on that particular day for me, I was not going to be wearing any type of high waist panties at all. And when I tried on this romper that you were insisting that I would look hot in, yes. and I was just like, yeah, but I'm not really sure. And then you gave me the spanks. Yes. And I was just like, yes, I made it feel sexy. Yes, because <laughs> the, at the time, the romper itself was structured. Right. So it and I'm not a had it, right? Girl. And you you were fighting me on that, I remember. Yes. <laughs> but then we put you in the spanks, and then we had a high waist spanks that kind of had you um, underneath your boobs and kind of pushed you up. You don't need a lot of boob job, but I mean, it just pushed you up, and then it was off the shoulder too. Right. So you know, it worked perfectly for you, and then the romper itself was structured, so you came out looking great. And yeah. then you had the legs for it, so it was just a win win. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said, and when I recommend your store as the plus size store for women to go to, it's for that event. Mm -hmm. So I realized that you don't really sell regular things. The tights yeah. on top, even though you may have it in your store, yeah. that's not necessarily what you go for. It's always for that big event that a plus size woman have. Yeah. Now, first of all, let me get into, were you always plus size? Basically, yes. And when did you fall in love with fashion? Always. I mean, I have, I have two aunts that are ultimate fashionistas. You know, you can't, they go nowhere without full face of makeup and heels. Oh, they like So me. growing up with them, you just couldn't do any better. <laughs> and then I remember we used to always go to Ilan. Mm -hmm. And I always used to see both of them all dressed up and it just used to be a vibe and Carmen's collection and with the aunt. So it was just like this whole influence of how you needed to look, you know, as a woman. And you were know, you out there? school figure too? No. No? No, only one of them. Okay. Only one of them. But it was just like, okay, the one that was full figured, she's like, listen, these skinny girls can wear anything they want, but we have to do a little bit more. We do. So just a little bit extra. So I always grew up with that, knowing that. You know, you had to do a little bit more. You had to pay attention to more things. You couldn't just jump into something and go. I mean, you can, you know, but, you know, for the most part, you have to do a little bit more. Yes. And so tell me a little bit. So we did the undergarments. So mm -hmm. if it's whatever brand, uh, the high waist panties yeah. for persons who they may, you know, think that they don't want to highlight the flaws that they think they have on their legs. They probably want to go a little bit further with some yeah. tights underneath, mm -hmm. um, having the, the best bra that fits you with no spillage. So I'm, I'm good with my undergarments yeah. now. How but do let I... us make sure that you know that you need to get measured for a bra at least once a year. Your body Once changes. Yes, your body changes. Your weight goes up and down. Things change. And the bra that you were wearing last year might really not fit you. And then if you're not caring for your bra too, it's going to stretch out right. and it's not fitting you the same. Right. So you really need to get me remeasured once a year. Make sure you're on, buy good bras and take care of them. You're so right. Because even for me, I thought that I was going to have bigger bursts after I had the baby. Mm -hmm. They actually get smaller though. But they shape different though. Oh, they shape different so. <laughs> So I, I actually, half the bras that I currently have, they have space in there. And, mm -hmm. and those were my bras pre-pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And I thought that, you know, my breasts would get bigger and mm -hmm. all of these things. So I'm, I'm with you with being measured the yes. one sprayer. Yes. And how we treat them. And we how you them treat in them. The washing machine. No, you can put them mm -hmm. in the washing machine, mm -hmm. but you have to put them in a garment bag. A what? You have to put them in a garment bag. What's a garment bag? So you have these mesh bags that you put your undergarments in mm -hmm. when you're putting them in the washing machine. So they allow for the washing machine not to stretch them and pull them and to manipulate the shape in any way. Like if you have bones in your bra, mm -hmm. they keep them in place. And you can wash them in the washing machine like that. When I thought I knew everything about bras. Yes. And then the next thing too, when you're storing your bras, mm -hmm. you don't fold them cup into cup. You fold them phrase and down. Because you will manipulate the bone in and right. change the shape of the bra. Right. Okay, great. So, okay, I'm good with my undergarments yes. now. How, when I step into a store, if I know nothing about what will fit my body, how, how do I go about navigating that? Okay. You know, this, that's tricky because I might find that this is a flaw for me and you might celebrate something else. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I tell my shoppers what do you feel confident about? Let's work around that. Mm -hmm. So my I'm, bottom. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> and your legs. And my legs. Right. So if that's what we're working with, then we work around that. So a customer might come in and I am thinking, oh, her breasts are too small. She might think that's her, that's what she wants to celebrate. And right. she wants to wear anything that accent with that she has a small top. Mm -hmm. So um, it all depends on how you feel and what it is that you want to conceal. Mm -hmm. It's not for me to tell you, oh, this it doesn't work and I believe. No, I let you decide. What are you happy with? What don't you like? And this is one of the reasons why I always like shopping at Curvitino, Trudy, because I find that it's such a nice space to get into when the owner of the store or the brand is full figured. She knows about body different body types and she's able to allow the customer to celebrate the parts of their bodies that they want to celebrate and possibly conceal what they don't want to celebrate and you always provide this nice space you remember the time when we used to have wine and them things yes. in your store yes yeah I, I like those things what made you want to create that space for full-figured women what 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 was the influence for you it didn't exist it simply did not exist i mean you'd go to a store and they would have a couple of choices in a larger size. Mm -hmm. Runner back. Yes. Mm -hmm. First of all. And then it would be frumpy. Mm -hmm. It would be ill-shaped. Mm -hmm. And the style probably wouldn't be up to date. And then you would have a smaller attendant telling you, no man, just try it just on. Just try it And on. you literally know that cannot fit you. <laughs> you know it can't you fit you. You know it cannot fit you. But ah. she is like, just try it on, man. It's stretch. It's stretch. <laughs> And then you force yourself down into it. And then when me start, me, me, me just to tell you from my perspective, when me start force myself down into it, me I say to myself, why may I do this? And then me start get me start sweat. I may get hot. I may get agitated. I'm just no bother one weary. I'm say thank you, miss. I'm just go on. And then you're over it now. I'm over it. Me no bother. No, one you don't me. even want to go to the event or wherever no. you were shopping for. You're you're now frustrated. You're unhappy. You're first. You know everything gone bad. Everything gone bad. So the space didn't exist in my mind where you could come in and you were comfortable mm -hmm. and the space was created for you. I mean, up to the chairs. You didn't have to squeeze into the chairs. Yes, because we have equal opportunity yes, chairs. Like yes, The ones yes. we're sitting in. Yes. Thank you, 1010. You know, even the, the, the changing rooms mm -hmm. were bigger. So, bigger. You, you know... The, Nothing the, stressed me out like a small changing room. A small bathroom and a stresses small, me out. Yes. And when the Come AC can't not turn. Properly. And, 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 and my hip and my bottom, I touch upon the wall them. Mm -hmm. And it stressed me out. I mean, I but I won't buy nothing. Yes. So you see, you had all of those factors that I thought I was experiencing and I knew other persons were experiencing. And where do we go? We want to shop. We, we go out every day. We require to wear clothes and go out. Mm -hmm. So where would, where would our space be? Right. So, so you created that space so for I created women. that space. Okay. Women. Now... What do you find that, do you find that the women are coming into the store more? I mean, I know with the lockdown and everything, um, a lot of persons were all at home. We're not really buying nothing because we're not really going away. Oh. Um, <laughs> but pre that, were you finding that with the change of landscape in terms of online shopping, that plus size women were still coming in or did they prefer to have the online experience? You know, um... I found that a lot of persons were going online and buying stuff. I'm not sure what the, how gratifying it was because when you would probe them to ask, what were you really buying? It was most casuals, t-shirts, leggings, um, maybe a casual dress or something. But if they had to get structured suits for work or dresses or, you know, to go to an event, they, they really weren't getting goodbyes offline because then they don't know how it would fit right. coming in or mm -hmm. how they would look or you know something will look one way online and then you come and it, that's Listen, not girl, it let me tell you something i i may be a little bit old-fashioned mm -hmm. but clothes may not to bite online and let me I tell am with you, on you that. why when i see it even even if it's a full-figured store i have a couple that because i know the fit I can buy from those brands mm -hmm. because I already have been into that store. I know the sizing. I know the Familiar. types of fabric that they mm -hmm. use. So I can buy from that store. I've tried on multiple occasions to buy plus size clothes from stores that say they're plus size stores. And when it gets to me here in Jamaica, it one, it can't fit me. Mm -hmm. And and me give me right size based upon your measurement. Yes. you have online. 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 Mm -hmm. Two, the fabric look cheap. I'm going to tell you something. Cheap fabric look cheaper. And full figure women. No, it does. It did not I look mean, the same. No, it, it it doesn't work. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I mean, you 
<laughs> it just doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't work, work because it looks if, if you're stretching into it, yes. it looks so much cheaper when yes. it's on you and you get frustrated. The fit is yes. never the same. So it's I continue to same. be traditional and want to go into the store to try it on, to feel the fabric. I, I for myself, when I'm shopping, even for myself or for the store, I like to feel the fabric. The fabric, the fabric weight so of the important. fabric is important on how it's going to drape on a plus size body. What it's going to hold where it's going to fall it's important so even when i'm shopping for the store and i'm seeing i like to feel the weight i like to feel how it goes i'm like sometimes i feel the weight and i'm like uh-uh this is not gonna fall properly it's not gonna fall it's properly it's not going me. to work and and that's the same thing that i actually tell my broad tail clients with the swimsuit because the first thing that they want to ask is i know the thin fabric where when we're going to the water all our breast exposed <laughs> or the rest of our body and i have to i i show it to them and i allow them to feel it to say it's thick mm -hmm. so when it goes on to you it would hold you in when you goes into the water you won't have to be afraid that your nipples or your bottom mm -hmm. or your vagina is going to be printing mm -hmm. out and these things are so important for full-figured women so it is, can it is, you it is very important because even for when i see a style like i'll get from a designer and normally they're going to send me the model in the smallest size mm -hmm. i want to see it in the biggest size yes that's when i determine if a style it works right because i mean when when the 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 model is smaller it's gonna look good mm -hmm. 10 chances to one is gonna look good but what is it gonna look on a 3x or a 4x mm -hmm. person right. that's when i know a style is a winner when it comes out like that on a on a 3x or a 4x then i'm buying and if it. we're gonna talk about dresses trudy we, we have to go back to moni fc oh yeah. because oh my god you introduced me to that brand and those dresses i have like three of them that i bought from you mm -hmm. and her dresses are so fabulous and it was because of the fabric it was the fabric because you remember that you had a lot of dupes on it mm -hmm. a, a lot of people tried to make it a lot of people made it because it was just it was just six feet the of convertible this. dress yes the with convertible. six feet a strap. it was a six feet a strap and everybody <laughs> thought it was simple yep but if you ever saw hers and somebody else's you knew the you know the difference one different it had it that falls it so falls good beautifully and when me the pregnant me did i wear people yeah. never if me never did want them know some pregnant mm -hmm. it did fit good if me want tighten a style and yes. then know like every single time that i'm out of an outfit and i need to go somewhere quick and look hot my convertible just, dress from money i mean person still call me and tell me oh you know i saw a convertible and when i saw it i knew that wasn't money see <laughs> Like I knew, I knew. You it remember wasn't you used it. to sell these off your back? Yes. You, you people used to want the one that you yes, have on. Yes, I would Crazy. have them on in the store, and people coming. No, no, no. I want the color you have on. Right. I have to unwrap, unwrap myself. Yep. And just <laughs> sell package it, off. it away. Yes. That's so good. Now, what do you think? That if you're to give advice to women on the types of fabrics that are great for us as full figured women, what are some of the the ones you'd suggest? You want something with. A little more stretch in it. I'm not saying spandex. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But you want something with a little more stretch without printing everything out. Right. All right. And you want um, things that have a weight on it. Because when it has a weight on it, it tends to fall off the body right. and not cling on onto to the you. body. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there are so many mix out there. But, you know, look for things. Don't look for the flimsy stuff. It's it's not going to work. Especially if you're trying to hide certain body areas, it's it's not going to be your friend. Right. So it's the weight of the fabric. It's yeah. how the fabric falls. Oh, it's strength. ensuring you're having some stretch strength. into it yes. without actually printing out everything. Yes. And, you know, one a, a type of clothing that I realized that a lot of full-figured women, we aren't scoring big points on it. It's it's gym wear, actually. Yes. Active wear. Mm -hmm. Because in the gym, all the average size women or the fit ones who are just there for strength strength, strength training, training and all of that, them always in the mirror and them are taking mm -hmm. them pictures and turn back way and mm -hmm. all type of Snapchat and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I find that the full-figured woman, she in you know, one big t-shirt and one tights. And sometimes the tights is not a high-waist tights. So it's not fully over your tummy. So every time that you do an exercise, you're jumping, everything you're skipping, everything dropping down and all types of things. And so it's also very important that you feel good in what you're in when you're exercising. Yes. Else I just one guy you're yard, but who wants to exercise when you're on this machine and you're looking in the mirror at yourself? Yes. You're already busting a sweat and you're dying. And then you get that look? Yeah. No, it's not cute. It's not cute. But, um... Not to plug any brands, but Lane Brand carries a very good um, active wear. Like they have about six inches worth of waistband that mm -hmm. is um, contouring. Right. So 
when you put on those active le- um, leggings and there it just swoops it in. Yes. And they're Snatched. there. Yes. And, and you then, feel better. And you feel better about yourself going to that gym. Yeah. Another brand that I know is good for active wear is Vata. It's a Brazilian brand. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, man. It's really good. V-A-T-A. It mm-hmm. also has that six inches of, of, of waistband. Of waistband. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is that when you buy it, you're going to think it's not going to fit you. Because oh. because it looked really, really small. Mm-hmm. But when I bought it, the person said to me, if the per- if our average size woman puts it on right now, it will mm-hmm. fit her. But it stretches oh, the it fit goes stretch- you. Oh, and, and then, then she wouldn't be able to wear it after, after you. Oh, because it would f- right. conform to your body and it's mm-hmm. very breathable. Mm-hmm. I only then me wear because they make me feel sexy when I exercise. Really? Because trust me, it's a part of the process. If you don't feel good when you're exercising, you're not going to No, you're not going to go. because you're you not going to I, I mean, I don't want to go anyway. So I need <laughs> all the help I can get while I'm there. No, a thing that you and I always talk about is the plus size woman's buyer behavior. Mm -hmm. Because I know that it has been a sore point for you with your Mm -hmm. store and also for me. I I have my brand way after you opened your store because you opened your store like 2007. You know, we're still waiting on your brand in our store. Um, Yes, it's going to be in the store. It's 2021. I'm still waiting on my I'm going to be better. Don't worry about it. We have gifts for you today, Trudy G. I know, but I mean, I've been chasing you for like, what, three years? (laughs) To chasing. buy, not even to chasing, say, she said. chasing, not even to say, you know, can I get a freebie? I, I want to purchase yeah. a broad tail swimsuit. I want to purchase a cover up. Can I please purchase? Um, like I'm, I'm going, going to all finally, out for 2021. Oh, wonderful. I cannot wait to be in the broad tail. I just, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> right. But there's a thing that we always talk about where even though the options were never available, I'm, I'm a niche market. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's resort wear that I do. Right. You carry a, a wider variety mm-hmm. of items for plus size women at Curvity. But we always have the issue where the women say that, oh my God, we couldn't have found this anywhere else. But then sometimes they don't want to purchase it. Yeah. Uh, the plus size woman shopping, it's all emotion. That's first and foremost. I, I, I did the market research. I've spoken to them coming into the store. As much as they're frustrated going into the regular store, they don't want to say that they're going to a plus size store to shop. Because so it reminds them that their weight is different. Yes. So they will go to five other stores where they know that they're not going to find it before they come to me. Even though, And then at the end of the shopping, they say, I don't know why I didn't come to you first. All the time. All the time. They, they go to five other stores. And they got all frustrated and flustered. And then they come to me. And I don't know what it is. Um, we create this nice, beautiful space for them so that they're comfortable. They can find what they want. Their sizes are there. It's, but that psyche of being plus size, for the most part, I'm not saying they're not women who mm-hmm. are celebrating. And they're, they're, those are not the ones we're talking about. Right. They're going to go to the five regular stores, get frustrated, and then they come. And you know what? It's it's so funny because it's the quite the opposite for me in terms of what I want. I don't want to squeeze into things that can't fit me. It, it it makes me feel worse about the fact that this thing that I liked enough to choose to want to try on to buy cannot fit me. So I actually head to the plus size stores first. And when I am there, me ask for the biggest size first because no one got down in a size. That's my psyche. I'm sorry. Well, for the... A lot of them come in and you can't even tell them the size that you're giving them to try on. You just have to say try it on. Because if ever you tell them that this is the size they're trying on, they're walking out. Because they're, they like if you say it's a 2X. Yeah. They like, don't, no, 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 I don't wear 2X. I don't oh wear God. 2X and I'm, I'm in the gym right now. I'm on a diet. So I'm not going to wear this. So it doesn't make sense. I buy it. I mean, to the point where we literally hide the sizes. Whoa. Just try it on. Do you, you know, after we get them in there and then they see themselves. And they love it. And they love it. But it's to get them in there. Right. It's all an emotional game. Mm-hmm. Shopping yeah. with them. And you know what? That goes back to the real issue, which is not actually the clothes or where you can find the clothes, but how we feel about ourselves as plus size women. Yes. Because if it is that you are full figured and you want to do something about it as in you don't want to be full figured there are ways of doing things that yes. you can exercise you can do a and surgery mm-hmm. you can go on a, a meal plan there are yes. so many ways to do that mm-hmm. but if it is that you choose to remain plus size you have to get to the point where you start loving yourself because 
at that point, you will realize that you deserve all the good things in life, like this fabulous suit that you're about to put on, no matter what the size is. Yes. And you know, you know what is the irony of it all? We actually have a husband chair in the store. A husband chair. A husband I remember chair. that. I never did have no husband to put in there. Right. But for the most part, if we see 10 women shopping, nine of them are with their boyfriends or husband. Mm-hmm. And they're always there celebrating him. Try this on. The men are the ones the that men. Try, try this, this on. on. Me like no, the one they, they, they're pulling out their credit cards. What you mean you're not buying it? But I'm going to pay for it. Right. Because they're celebrating these women, these beautiful, big, full-figured women. And they're like, no, no, no. Look at this. And then the men are like, what? Yeah. So we actually had to have a chair for the husband because they were shopping so much with their partners. As a matter of fact, as you bring up the husband chair, just last week, I had a client who... He called for a swimsuit and cover up for his wife. Mm-hmm. And he said, You know, so she don't want to wear no swimsuit because she always a try to hide herself mm-hmm. from we married. Me not even see her in a one swimsuit, but me want bite for her. And he chose the one that he wanted. Of course, you know, him never know her size. Mm-hmm. So me did have to call her. And she was like, Me not like swimsuit. Me not know why my biting. So, and I was just like, Let me tell you something. When you try it on, you're going to love it. Just trust me. Make sure I get her well measured up and whatever. Mm-hmm. Him come and pay money for the swimsuit mm-hmm. and cover up. Mm-hmm. And she called me. About two days ago, because she was going to a resort with um, her her sisters, mm-hmm. and she was so happy about it. And she said that if he never initiated to buy the swimsuit, she would never buy it mm-hmm. because she doesn't feel like she's as sexy as he feels. So sometimes it's really what is in the mind of the full figured woman, and not everybody mind. else who is around her. Yes, <laughs> it's it's something that we have to. Even when we we were first introduced to a new customer when she comes in. I gauge them where are they at in their confidence. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you start saying, okay, this is where they're at. So you don't push certain things on them, even if you know, you think you slowly get yeah. them into where they need to be. And then, you know, like a few months later, a year later, I said, Trina, can you believe that I'm wearing this now? I would have never have bought this in the beginning. Right. Like, look where you get Off me. the shoulder, <laughs> yes. legs showing, yes. short things. Yes, but it's all... A feeling when you said, no, but you look good. Look on yourself. And that's why we have the big mirrors in there Mm -hmm. to say, look on yourself. I would not stare you wrong. I'm not going to let you come into this store looking and come out and you look crazy. I know what it feels like. Because I've tried some crazy things in your store. Yeah. Like, Dana, that one is not I said, no, no, no. It's not going to work in here. (laughs) (laughs) No, 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 no. We're not going to have it. Guys, she won't let you leave in (laughs) something that you don't look fabulous in. No. So, you know, once we develop that trust. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I keep telling them that my style is flawless, but it's just all to get into their head, you know, I'm not being, sarc- I mean, boastful or anything. And then, you know, we work on them. But for the initial part, that's the feeling that they come in and they don't want to be in a plus size store. Yeah. What about some of your favorite plus size brands? My favorite plus size brands. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to love Money FC. Yeah, we used to love Money FC, but she stopped making the dress there. Yeah, she stopped make, making the dress. And, I mean, I don't know what happened. Yes. But um, I still love my Lane brand. Mm-hmm. Um, who else am I? I mean, overall, they're just the same traditional brand. You probably can find one or two things from other designers, but not like a full line. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would just probably say those right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I still like fashion to figure. Yeah, you know, they they they... Had me obsessed the whole of COVID. Mm-hmm. Because they I were ju- putting out some things. I'm like, where are people going? Why are they yes. putting out these No, but things? I was buying it. Yeah, man, I was buying. buying. I have an old person from yes. fashion to figure out. Like, hey. I was buying. I'm like, but where am I going to wear this to? But I need this in these my life. Them liquid some- leggings. <laughs> these liquid the leggings. The denim leggings. Yeah, the denim wrap. Yeah, man. Not nice. dress. I got them in nice. all the colors they came out in. <laughs> Trudy, where are you going? I'm not sure, but I mean. <laughs> Just in case. It had a good structure. The fabric was nice. I was like, "Uh uh-uh, I cannot lose. (laughs) And you know, I think about fashion and times as we talk Mm -hmm. about COVID because broad tail was all swimsuits and Mm cover-ups. And then COVID happened. And we realized that the beaches were closed, the rivers were closed here in Jamaica, and persons weren't necessarily going to those places. Mm -hmm. But then when the tourism sector opened back up on a phase basis here in Jamaica, I realized that a lot of persons were going to the resorts for their birthdays or just Mm -hmm. for a family trip. And they started to ask us, right, just to Mm -hmm. get away. And they started to ask us about like dresses Mm -hmm. and and, um, skirts and all of that. And so we had to pivot and actually get into a little bit more on the resort side. Side yeah. of the brand so fashion changes so much especially for the full figured woman yes it changed i mean persons were asking for loungewear right 
you know, things that looked good from waist up for all of these Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings. And then it was still comfortable for them to deal with their kids or whatever not in the house and still if they had to jump on a quick conference call that they could. So that's what persons were asking. They were asking for, you know, pajama sets, um, active wear. Pajama yes. sets. Pajama sets, the ones, you know, with the with the colors and stuff that looked nice that if they had to. And um, soft bras and... Basically, that's what yeah. So loungewear, into- resort wear, Laundry that's what resort. has been yes. in because there is no real big events that you need like an exquisite dress or no, all of that. Even and then, you still need it in your wardrobe. Just yes, like. and if they were, they tend to be going into them closet and getting that. They weren't shopping for that. Persons right. were yeah, not really not shopping. But Trudy, I want to thank you so much for coming and for talking to me and dropping some gems, giving us a little dress test, some of the essentials that we need to have. But before you go, a couple of things. So mm-hmm. this plant here. My mother, she gave it to me. It's yes. called a ZZ plant. A ZZ and she plant. told me mm-hmm. that is a money plant. So, no, so we, are, we are where the money resides? Yes. This right here <laughs> is where the money, <laughs> resides. Where the money resides. Okay. And me need you to touch the plants because uh-huh. me need you to get some of the money with the plants. Yeah, but I need a, I, no. she don't have no more that I can get. I yeah, don't. well, you can't get this. No, no, no. But I'm sure there's some more. Yes, she has more. Uh, please. All right. I'm going to have my address. Okay, yes. I I, I'll it. pick it up because I need to catch, <laughs> need make, to make sure I have the money. money with you. Yes. Yes. And also, because you bad me up in front of everybody. No, but it had to be known that I've been begging. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. You've okay. been for mm-hmm. three years. You've yeah. always wanted three to support years. the brand. I've and you've always, always want... wanted broad tailing courtesy. Yes. And we're going to be doing it. Yes. But of course, because you bad me up so bad, uh-huh. I had to, I can't make you leave without getting a little gift from us. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. I remember you told me what your power color is. Yes. Red. Yes. And so I had to, of course, give you something in the color oh. that you like. Oh gosh. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I can't I wait. another gift for you though. Okay. I, I'm so, getting lots of gifts. Lots of gifts because uh-huh. Trumi treat you so bad over the time and mm-hmm. you always support me. Yes. Our friends at Morgan's Creek mm-hmm. and they're in Sovereign here in Kingston, Jamaica okay. at Ligani and they've sent you some body oils and soaps and aromas. Because you know we have to have the luxury lifestyle. Of course. Yes, we have we to are keep luxury. up with the self-care. Excellence is our life. Yes. And so here yes. you go. Thank you so much. Gift from Morgan's Creek. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and on the note of confidence, you know, say, my love take pictures, right? Yes. When I was in your store trying on all the clothes that I bought from you, I'm mm-hmm. always taking pictures always. and doing videos. And so how could I have a podcast that I'm not taking pictures on, right? Mm-hmm. So this segment of our show is called The Sleek Confident Pose. Mm-hmm. And you and I, we're going to have a pose off. But I think you're winner ready. <laughs> Jordy, you can't just say I'm winner ready. You have to do the pose What's off. What's the practice you've had? <laughs> well, we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. All right, let's go. The sleek, confident pose? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Flash, flash and feel it. Flash, flash and feel it. Flash, flash and feel it. Hey, it's like a movie. So I want to thank you again so much for coming out and for supporting the Bean Broad Tail podcast. It's our first season. I don't think I could have ever done it without you talking about fashion because you opened my eyes so much to the fashion world. I met me a going like hot girl in these streets and I tell other women about, oh, your undergarments. You have to take care of your undergarments so that your clothes can fall properly because you you taught me that so thank you so much trudy thank you for having me dania i wish you all the success in this i know you're gonna do great thank you so much and i want to thank my audience for always tuning in every single thursday for the bean broad tail podcast you know how we do we start the weekend on a thursday now you never know who's gonna be your bold your brash and your broad tail beautiful guest for next week so you definitely have to tune in and remember all of us have fat in our back some of us fat just curl but if you have that top swimsuit or dress that you want to wear just wear it living the e-life easy live the e-life with sadio core life